From her humble beginnings as a young migrant from Hong Kong, Helen Shamho became Australia's first Chinese-born parliamentarian in 1988. Helen's interest in public life began when she was young. Since my student days, I have always worked in for the community. You know, since, well, even since, since my childhood, I should say, in Hong Kong, I was a girl guy. You know, I was a Legion of Mary, and then I was a lifesaver. And then coming here in, in Australia, uh, I was in the student movement in the social association, in the overseas student council, and then of course in the community as a social worker. On her first foray into politics, Helen reflects on what inspired her to become a politician. I think uh, politi being a member of parliament is more attractive to me because at that stage there's no member of parliament of a any background in terms of Asian, okay? So it was a set of circumstances. I was a Liberal Party member. I was the only Chinese who are bilingual, Chinese speaking and English speaking. And I was also the Chinese state is around the time there was the election. So it's the right timing, it's the right place and with the right people. Helen has made great contributions to the Australian Chinese community. Her hopes and dreams reveal her commitment to making multicultural Australia work for everyone. Perhaps one of the um, wish I have is for the Chinese community specifically maybe, uh, the ethnic community, the migrants, to be more, more active generally and not so enclosed within themselves like a ghetto. In the old days people always say, oh Cabramata is a ghetto, uh, you know, Hersu is a ghetto. But this is new migrants, they can't speak langu the language. So my wish is for people to be more understanding that multicultural society is to respect one another. The mutual respect, the, the understanding and acceptance of one another. And that would be my wish because I have children, I have grandchildren now. Through Helen's work, both here in New South Wales and across the board, uh, Helen has done a great job in building bridges, not with the, just with the Chinese community, but many other Asian communities, both through the Parliamentary Alliance Group as the first Asian-born member of Parliament in Australia, and of course through the Asia-Pacific Friendship Group. Helen overcame many challenges to become the first Chinese-born member of Parliament in New South Wales. It's a real challenge because I have to beat other people who know Australia so well, who speak lang uh, the English language as if, of course, it's their mother tongue. You know, that's very difficult to convince them that I can do the job. I think that was important because being a, a woman at, this, at that time, 20 odd years ago, is difficult enough. Women is already, as you know, as many people are still suffering, you know, the glass ceiling. So that was difficult as a woman. As a Chinese woman, it's even more difficult because it's double whammy. I had to convince them that I can do it as an ethnic, as a woman. Given her contribution to New South Wales Parliament, the Chinese community and charity and education organisations, she was awarded an OAM in 2012. After being diagnosed with cancer, Helen continued to show her strength of character by keeping up with social and public speaking commitments, which have helped her to maintain a positive outlook on life. Although I was panicky, but I just feel you can't sit here and die. That's why after my initial treatment, even during my chemotherapy treatment, I was making speeches in public for, for the Can Revive, for example, the support, Chinese support group for cancer, to say that how, how I went through my treatment process to tell people. You have to be active. Don't think about yourself, think about other people. I think that helped. Because of my interests, I keep on the whole political life and so busy, I still keep busy. I think that's the treatment. 